Hey y'all, if you're new, welcome to Breezy's World. I haven't done anything in a while because I've been really busy with school and work. So today I actually have an opportunity for I to go get my dress hand for my friend's wedding. Um, coming up in June. Um, anyway, so, guys, I officially walk in, let me see what my timer says. Yes, I have a timer for counting down all the stuff. I am officially walking in one day, 23 hours, and 39 minutes, 48 seconds. Whoop, whoop. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I thought, like, my anxiety would be up. I was just, like, doing the graduation invite and then photo shooting and doing the cap and gown photo shoot. It's just, like, the closer it gets, the more at ease I am. It might just be me, but I am beyond excited. So, as of right now, what can my tips be? Um, if you're approaching graduation, it's, it's okay to be anxious, guys. Trust me. <laughs> I really don't think it's hit me yet that I am graduating. So, walking, well, walk, really walking across that stage. Um... I think it will hit me like when I'm walking across the stage and getting my diploma and I'm trying not to cry. <sighs> so, but I just say it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to worry if you're going to fall or if you're going to go, trip going across the stage. I constantly think I'm going to do that all the time, which has happened to part of the reason I get flats instead. Or there's a bird trying to get in the window. It's common. I'm at my church right now because I want to try to get some work done before I had to go get some, get my dress done. But I am excited, guys, because in a couple of weeks I'm going to the beach. Trust me. So I was trying to decide, like, what I wanted to do for my grad trip, graduation, like, how I want to celebrate. I did a dinner back in December with some friends. However, I know I didn't want to party. I knew my anxiety really could not handle having a part another party about myself. <laughs> um, but I'm excited. I've chose the beach because I love the beach. I love the mountains in general, but I also really love the beach. <laughs> but I just throw some R and R sometime to get sunburned because I am a redhead. So we have that to worry about, but I'm okay with that. I have my surrogate family. Christy Hicks and Paul and it. Paul Hicks and her two boys who are like brothers to me. I have my best friend Emily who's like a sister and we're going to the beach, so yay. <sighs> Eleven days away if I go to the beach. To take less than two before I go to before I graduate. Oh, I'm so excited. I have family coming up, some I'm excited to see about see, some I'm not. <laughs> but I'm very excited though, because not only am I the first in my family to do it, to graduate, I'm making a difference in someone's life. As Tim McGraw once said, when you get where you're going, stop and help the next, stop, turn around and help the next one in line. So that's what I really want to do, guys. One day I'm going to create, I really want to create a nonprofit one day, so, for like first gen students who are having to go through this alone. And, see, I grew up below the poverty line, and I was always told that, oh, you're never going to graduate, you're going to get stuck here. Well, I'm graduating, I'm working toward a law degree, and I think I'm doing pretty darn well for myself, if you ask me. So, you see what would happen if I would have li listened to them? I would have literally ended up stuck in South Alabama, no offense, y'all, but that was not for me. But I knew the only way for me to break the cycle of poverty and all that was for me to get a college degree and start a career that I love. And I've always loved the legal field. So, that's pretty much it for that, guys. So, remember, remember to hit that like button, subscribe, comment your name, where you're from, if you're graduating, if you're not graduating. Just your story. I want to get to know you personally. Um, 
just want to know your story some. You don't have to tell me everything. Or you don't have to tell me your story at all. I just want to get to know some of y'all. I know this is a small channel and it's growing. So one day I hope that I can be the reason students, first gen students, don't feel alone in the process. Because I know how it feels. Even though Wallace did have really great people, I just don't think I really connected like that. Um, but at my time at Wallace, though, I did make a lot of amazing friends. I met some amazing teachers who will forever be a part of my life. Um, uh, some of them, I still talk to a lot of them today. Um, so this is what I like to say. I'm thankful every year for the strangers that become friends and the friends that become families. Because sometimes... It just takes a friend, and I want to be the inspiration for someone one day. I want them to know that they can look up to me, they can come to me with problems, and one day, I want to give back the way I was helped. I want to give back, guys. I love charity, I love volunteering and all of that, but I just think it's fine, something special when you get to mentor somebody who knows what you're going through and who can help you in this process. Alright guys, that's it for today. Remember, hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and ring that bell for notifications. Breezy's out.